Aaron, this is um, a, a multi-pronged question. Um, I know you were close with all three coaches, but you were very, very close with Phil Nevin. He was one of your guys. He always had your back. Uh, he has been quoted as saying that he was not fired for anything on the field. So number one is, why was he let go or not brought back? And number two, getting a three-year contract, obviously the Yankees wanted you back. You had leverage. Was there ever a point where you said, listen, either Phil Nevin stays or I'm not coming back? Did you have that thought process, and did you have that discussion? Um, I did not have a this or that, you know, Phil stays or I go, you know, or I wouldn't be here right now. Um, but honestly, you know, when, when the coaches were, that was one of the things I had to struggle through with for a couple of days. And again, had some difficult conversations with them. Um, again, people that I respect from a baseball standpoint and their ability to coach and what they're capable of doing, but also the love that I have for them as people, you know, and, and you say Phil, but I would include Marcus and PJ in that as well. So um, that was a tough couple of days for me, honestly, that I, I did have to, you know, I guess do some soul searching and, and really speak to them. And I've even talked to Phil about, you know, about, you know, coming back and things like that. So those are tough conversations you work through and, and tough conversations you have. And, you know, I, but I, in the end, I also think that's sometimes the nature of the business and the difficulty of this business is that you, you lose or have to say goodbye in certain aspects to some people um, in, in some inevitable turnover. So that's probably one of the things that I struggled with the most, but certainly at peace with... Um, certainly with them and uh and ultimately making my decision to come back but and, aaron uh, if, yeah. if phil said that it wasn't an on-field thing what was the reason given to you why the organization did not bring back phil nevin specifically what was the problem you know i think as i think as cash touched on i i think in those cases obviously in a lot of our coaching we, we have expiring contracts so it's it's not necessarily it is a little bit different than firing them right now. It's it's wanting to move in a little bit of a new direction and, um, you know, trying to do things that hopefully, you know, allow us to move to another level. And that sometimes comes with the pain of, of letting really good people walk.